A good dust collection system is extremely important, especially if you've got a lot of wood to cut. Today we're processing a lot of cedar boards, which means a lot of sawdust. Although we've been using these dust collection systems for a lot of years, there's still a lot of improvements we can make. When you see sawdust kick back like this, you know you've got a clog. And a clog means a longer workday. You could work for a while, but then you gotta stop again. So you might be asking, what makes all these clogs anyway? I'll go through some of the reasons it clogs on us. 90 degree turns are hard on a system. And see how the size of the hose reduces in size? Reducing it down like this really makes things clog up. This tube should be the same size as that fitting on the machine. This needs fixed. Every time it clogs, we have to take out the screws. Although this does work, a bigger tube is better. Now, if you're collecting a lot of sawdust, this clamp is effective. It's real easy to take off, but a real pain to get back on. If the plastic moves, then you're gonna have sawdust kicking all over the room. But overall, I do like the system. When you're planing down boards, you make a lot of dust. Once we have this bag emptied, I'll show you what it takes to put this thing back on. These little clips hold the plastic bag in place while you're getting everything all set up. It works, but it's just a little cumbersome. It's actually better if you have two people do it. Okay, it's back together, we'll get back to work. Now we can start sucking up all this dust until the next clog. When you're doing woodwork, you can see how important dust collection is. Now having a good machine with a lot of suction is important, but how you hook up the suction is also important. You don't want to have any restrictions like this. Now if you've got a few boards, this will work, but if you have a big load, you're gonna wish that that tube was a little bigger, which is what our conversation's been about all day. Now this smaller connection into the machine is another problem. You're taking one big connection, dividing it up into two. And it does seem like a good idea until it clogs and clogs and clogs. So this connection is gonna go to one big one instead of two little ones. You just tweak it until it works. And sometimes you don't know it works until it doesn't work. And that's why you just wanna keep it as simple as possible without any restrictions. It sounds good on paper, taking it from one machine and then to another. I'd rather connect each machine individually rather than have a clog. In the long run, it'll save some time. So when you're setting up your dust collection, you can learn from some of our mistakes. And if you've got some systems that are working, please leave some of those ideas in the comments down below. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.